up everybody i uh want to just make a little video about this i uh finally um took this car right here and removed the front springs off the front i know it's a it's a sporty so it's already set up really aggressive but um and i'm i'm sure if you buy dav tech shocks or maybe yeah racing or whatever that that's probably good too but for me i've found that just taking the springs right off especially the front um all four sides depending on the car just um is the easiest best way to drop it and give it stability and a super low lcg um i hadn't done that to this yet because the shocks were already laid down so much that I thought maybe it would be too low. But I took the springs off and then I moved them out one notch on the frame. So they moved a little further forward. Um, the rear still has springs and I might make that a little steeper to give it a little bit more of a break over it. Clearly need some high clearance links, links still. But um, it just... It makes the front so stable, especially like with this platform right here with the brass, the battery, the servo on the axle, the ESCs on the axle, and the receiver. So the only thing in the on the actual frame is the transmission and the motor. Um, <clears throat> and it just it makes it stable. It doesn't have as much spring. You're better off with the front completely planted for... Um, or whatever steeps side hills etc uh, hope everybody's been doing good i just uh you know haven't chatted on my videos very much but um been having fun rc and hopefully get out to some uh comps hope everybody's um doing really good out there and um yeah enjoying their summer unless you're uh my man lou down there in arizona or cactus crawler some of you other guys are getting hot but Hopefully you're finding some shade and doing some crawling too. All right.